Hi, Ingrid. How are you? Pretty good. All right. Um, Yesenia, how are you tonight? Tired? Hi. How are you, Yesenia? I'm fine. Thank you. Are you tired? Are you? Um, un poco. <laughs> No. <laughs> no. Oh. Why? You had a lot of work? Hola. Mucho trabajo, le digo. Sí, puedo decir que he venido hace como unos 20 minutos. Oh. Así que he tenido un arduo trabajo. Ya, yeah, imagine. Okay, but it's time for our English class. Let's forget about work. Forget about work, okay? <laughs> for a little bit. Jamilet, welcome. We're going to do the exercise, okay? Very simple. Number one, uh, English. Mm. Okay. What do you think? Remember, eh, acuérdense del orden, ¿verdad? ¿A dónde iba el adverbio de frecuencia? Digamos, for example, I always go to the gym, for example. Y el adverbio de frecuencia iba antes del verbo, ¿verdad? Excepto con el verb be. So, what is the answer, Yesenia? What do you think? Uh, sorry, Ingrid. I hardly ever hardly ever Mm -hmm. Eat. I hardly ever eat. Snacks at work. Snacks at work. Ah, se me dio confuso eso porque work parecía verbo también. Okay, but this is okay. Mm -hmm. I hardly ever eat snacks at work. Very good. Good job. All right, number two, Jamilet. Um, I sometimes eat, eat pasta for dinner. Let's try that. And Yesenia, number three. Okay. Um... Uh, I often uh, I offer <laughs> dinner with my family. Oh, no. uh, I don't know. Yeah, I that, that could be good. Have yeah. dinner with my family. I often I often have dinner with my family. Have dinner with my family. Very good. Let's try that. Yes, excellent. Good job. Hold on. Great. Very good. Let's do the next section. Okay. A uh, read the objective. Jairo, go ahead. My day off. This has to be right and this good. And articular. 
I would articles. and the cons and the mm -hmm. about special foods about special food develop skills in scanning yes. Okay. Yes. Candy and the ready for the very good. Okay, let's watch the video. Eating for good luck. All right, mute the microphone. And let's watch. Hi everyone. In this class you'll read an article about special foods. You will also develop skills in scanning and reading for details. On New Year's Day, many people eat special foods for good luck in the new year. Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are round. Round foods end and begin again, like years. It is a Jewish custom to eat apples with honey for a sweet new year. Greeks eat vasilopita, bread with a coin inside. Everyone tries to find the coin for luck and money in the new year. In Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grapes at midnight on New Year's Eve. One grape for good luck in each month of the new year. On New Year's Day in Japan, people eat mochi, rice cakes, for strength in the new year. Some Americans from southern states eat black-eyed peas and rice with collard greens. The black-eyed peas are like coins and the greens are like dollars. In Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grapes at midnight on New Okay, is there any new vocabulary? No? Hi, Vladimir. Hi. Tangerine. 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 These are tangerines. Mandarina. Mandarina. Ah, okay. Tangerines. Uh -huh. What else? It's a Jewish. Yeah, wish. A Jewish is judio. Uh. Yes. What else? Mm -hmm. Black A feet. That's like the band, right? The black eye feet. <laughs> black eyed black eyed peas. Let me show you a picture instead. Black-eyed peas. Yeah. No, no, no. Hold on. I know it, but I want to show you food. These are black-eyed peas. Only one part of it is black. No son blancos, o sí, no, ¿verdad? Okay. Son le blanco. Pero tienen un, un ojo negro, por eso se llama black eyed. Uh, yeah. Okay, los mutea todos porque mucho ruido se escucha. All right, let's continue. So, any other words? Facilita. Which one? Syrup. Syrup. Where is it? One, two, three, four, five, or six? 
Three it basilopita. Ah, this is basilopita bread. This this one in the picture. Okay. Anything else? Customs. Customs son tradiciones. Sí. Uh -huh. Let me see. In a C-U-S-T-O-M-S. -S. That's it. Okay. Strength. What is strength? This word? Fuerte. Strength. Fuerza. Mm -hmm. It's here on New Year's Eve. All right, do we have any traditions in El Salvador for New Year's, for example, or Christmas? It's with, with what's it? bread with chicken. Yes, bread with chicken and also the 12 grapes, right? For good luck. Okay. 12 uvas para la buena uh -huh. suerte. Yeah. Do we have that? Yes. Yes, right? We practice that. Okay, let's do the exercise. We can move on. All right, let's answer the questions, okay? We're gonna do this. Let me see how many sections we have. Let's answer the question, guys. Number one, Jairo, go ahead. Jairo, number one. So many Chisne people, people. Mm -hmm. I can read. Eat tangerines. Okay, we're going to do this in pairs, okay? Check the questions and the answers um, are in the article. Changos. Right. But you have five minutes. Hagamos esto en, en pareja las respuestas, pero solo cinco minutos máximo, ¿ok? We need to do it. So let's work in pairs. Mm. The invitation, please. There it is. Section 4.12. Hi, Jesse. Hello, Let's see. 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 let us some Chinese, Chinese people is tangerine. Tangerine are tangerine. Tangerine. Tangerine.
Eh, ajá, sería conveniente, me imagino. Porque no creo que sea comparable. Va a lo que es. Grades, basically. Como en Grecia, griega o Grecia, no griega. Los griegos, ¿no? Basilo, ¿qué es eso? <risa> Sería pan con, con algo, con. Con hoja mm. adentro. ¿Cómo? Incide es adentro o es dentro. O sea, brico. Ajá. ¿Y qué significa coin? Coin se pies. No. All right, let's click on the answers. Number one, Wendy, go ahead. Uh, some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are room like tears. Perfect, let's do it quickly. Yesenia, number two. Apples with Honey, don't for a Great, Jamilet, number three. Break uh, a basilopita bread with a coin inside. Yes. What is a coin, guys? Centavos, monedas. Monedas, okay, very good. Number four, Ingrid. Mm -hmm. In Spain, okay. Number five, Jairo. They have an essay head. Rice. Rice cake, okay. Rice cake. In Vladimir, number six. Uh, okay. Dollars. Oh, 
I like dollars. Let's see. Yeah, no, it's not dollars. What is it, guys? Money. It's coins. Money. Coins. It's coins. 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 So, because they're like coins. That's very good. All right. Now, we're going to work with vocabulary related to sports. Pay attention to the vocabulary, everyone. And I will share with you. Everybody mute the microphone, please. Hey everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary related to popular sports in the US and Canada. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary. Sports seasons in the US and Canada. In the spring, people play golf and play soccer. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, and go swimming. In the fall, People play football, go bike riding, and go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, and go skiing. Now it's your time to put this vocabulary into practice. I would like for you to describe the sports that you play in different seasons. For example, in the spring, I play soccer. In the summer, I go swimming. In the fall, I play football. In the winter, I play basketball. Try to give as many examples as you possibly can. Think about your family, friends, and co-workers, and the sports that they play. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forum. Okay, let's talk about some of the sports. All right, in the spring, people, we're going to talk about, well, repeat with me, okay, and then we're gonna give some examples, so. In the spring, people play golf. In the spring, people play golf. Right. In the summer, people play baseball. In the summer, In the summer people play baseball. baseball. Play tennis. Play tennis. Play tennis. Play volleyball. Play volleyball. Play volleyball. Go swimming. Go swimming. Go swimming. Okay. Go swimming. Play football. Play, Play football. football. Go bike riding. Go bike riding. Go hiking. Go hiking. Okay. In the winter, people play hockey. Play basketball. Play basketball. Go ice skating. Go ice skating. And go skiing. Go skiing. Uh -huh. Any new words here? See what the meaning hiking. Hiking is ir a caminata. Uh, is king? King is this. Is this? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hiking. Mm -hmm. King. Go hiking. Uh, hiking is ir a caminata. Hiking. hiking. Uh, yep. In the bike ride, in the bike riding is recycle. No, bike riding a high is using the bicycle exactly. Okay. Yeah. Very good. So, what sports do you like? Or what activities do you do in summer, guys? 
Okay, in the summer. I I play in tennis and that's what I play tennis. Okay, so what sports do people practice in El Salvador from all of these? ¿Cuáles se practican en El Salvador de todos estos? Baseball. Yes. I swim the riding. Swimming. Basketball. Swimming. Basketball. Basketball. Very good. Volleyball. Yeah. What, about, what about hiking? Yes. Do you like hiking? Yes, I hike. Yes. I like hiking. Do you like um, swimming? Uh, I don't like that. <laughs> really? Wendy, do you like no. playing soccer? Yes, I like. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Really? I don't like soccer. Okay. Any questions about this? Uh, no. No. Okay, very good. Let's continue then. We're going to go on section five. Read the objective, please. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary. Yeah, sorry, the next one. This one. This one. Uh, okay. <laughs> By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer simple present question. Question. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Yeah, setting. Very good. Now we're going to practice WH. All right. Mute the microphone. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask and answer simple present WH questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Hmm. Hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Do you play sports or watch a lot of sports? Now I would like to show you how to form simple present WH questions. Let's start by analyzing the chart on the screen. Simple present WH questions. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. The goal of using WH questions is to obtain more detailed information from someone. In this case, we want to know everything about the person's response, I play baseball. So we ask, what sports, who, where, how often, when, what time? In order to form simple present WH questions, we can follow this next formula. WH word plus do or does plus the subject plus the verb plus some kind of complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions now. In the example, where do you play? The WH word is where then we add the auxiliary verb do. After that, we add the subject you. 
Next, we add the verb play. Finally, we add the complement. In this case, we don't have a complement because from our previous question and answer, we understand that we're talking about baseball. There's one particular question that I would like to point out. Who do you play baseball with? This type of question may sound a little strange in some languages because of the location of the words who and with. So I would like to explain the following. We can ask this question in two ways. The most common in American English is who do you play baseball with? The other way is by saying with whom do you play baseball? It's not very common, but it's correct and formal to express yourself like this. So to understand the question, who do you play baseball with? Let me write a quick formula. Who plus do or does plus subject plus the verb plus noun plus with. As the example shows, we start our question with who. Next, we put an auxiliary verb, do. After that, the subject, you. Next, we need to add the verb and noun, play baseball. I would like to point out that sometimes it's not necessary to add a noun, just the verb so we can easily say, who do you play with, without adding baseball. Finally, we add with and the question mark. Now it's your turn to practice making simple present WH questions from our previous. Okay, the important thing here is the structure. Anotar la estructura. Did you write the structure? Yes. Con esa estructura ya vamos a poder hacer los ejemplos y practicar. Okay. So WH, do or does, subject and the verb, okay? First, we're going to do an exercise. This question and answer, we understand that we're and talking we're about. Practice, right? Okay. Um, so, let's do the exercise first. Todos tienen la estructura? Yes. Yes, very good. Let's do this with the conversation, so. Conversation one, I watch sports on television every weekend. Really, what sports do you like to watch? Okay, let's do this exercise. Quisiera que hagamos de la siguiente forma. Okay, una persona es A y la otra es B en todas las conversaciones, okay? Y seleccionan la pregunta que está acorde. Tienen, tienen preguntas sobre qué significan estas. When, who, where, how. No, no teacher. Ok. Entonces, practiquen la conversación y con la respuesta, ok. In pairs, here we go. So it is section 5.4. Ready? Yes. Ok. Do you usually watch soccer? A on Sunday afternoon. Está preguntando usualmente cuando ve soccer, bro. What? What do you? No, porque como porque está preguntando porque por la respuesta on Sunday afternoon. En las tardes del Domingo. Por la respuesta. Yamilet, are you there? Yes. 
Yamilet and Jorge. Hello. No, no, I my friend Jose. He has, has he has a real big television. Television, okay. Vamos con la siguiente. Dice, often do you go bike riding? Um, y la respuesta es, oh, about on. Um, o oh, realmente una vez al mes dice va yes. um. sería wow o oh yo digo que es how wow how 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 oster do you oh. go by right oh about once a month La otra. I love to go by read writing. I go everybody song every Sunday. Really? Dice. Yo realmente no voy a nada. Okay. Um, la otra es really. Do you go? Okay, let's check the answer. All right, what is the answer for number one?
Oh. Uh -huh. Number one is how. Web. No, it's how. Porque la pregunta es con qué frecuencia. Ok. Y va junto. How often. Very good. Number two. Uh -huh. Ingrid. Number two. I love to go bike riding. I go every Sunday. So usually I Where? about one o'clock. Why? que va a la, a la una de la tarde. Entonces, ¿cuál es la pregunta? Oh, déjame ver. Usually, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Really. When. When, right? Okay. When. And next one, it says usually at one o'clock. Oh, yeah. Do you usually go with? Who? Who? Uh -huh. Con quien Who? Vas? My sister. Come with us next time. Very good. I don't know if that was difficult. <coughs> yep. Oh, sorry. I didn't see the part. Do you usually watch soccer on Sunday? What is the question here? When? 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 And do you usually watch it? at my friend's house. This is a place, so you use? Where? 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 All right, very good. No, it should be correct. Great. Now, um, following this model, guys, I have some questions for you. Check WhatsApp, please. And I want you to practice some speaking, okay? Check your WhatsApp. I sent you these questions. I don't know if you can see. All right. Yep. There. So we're going to discuss those questions. Number one says, what do you do on Saturdays? What is a possible answer? What do you do? Um, Ajá. Les mandé una pregunta por cada Ahí. ejemplo del video. Si lo pueden ver acá, no sé si estoy compartiendo. Y discutan la pregunta. Eso sería todo. Ok. Y eh, practiquemos. So, accept the invitation, please. Where is Wendy? No, let's go. Yamilet and Jorge? Están por acá. Gorla. Irving, what do you like to eat?
Vladimir. Eh, eh, quiero ver. I like. Eh, sería. Grandmother. Porque te está preguntando que con quién vivo. ¿Con quién vivís? Ah, con, con mi abuela. I, I, no. I got. I like. Yo. I sería. Para I mí, like para my mí. grandmother. Ah, grandmother. pues. Ah, pues sí, cabal. I like grandmother. Eh, Jairo. Eh, ah, sería. <ríe> Te voy a preguntar la misma. ¿Cuál do you like, Jairo? I my mother. I like my mother. Yeah. Sí. No. no. La tercera la pregunta. Esa es la tercera. Where do you like? ¿Dónde vive? No. Aunque no es ah, con quién. No, ahí. No, la segunda es Why do you live with? Eso es que está preguntando vive? con quién vivís. Ajá. Y la otra dice Where do you vive? like? Ajá, ¿dónde vives? Ajá, entonces, ¿dónde vives? Okay. I like I like in el triunfo sultán. Sultán. Okay. Puro firpo. <laughs> nah. Puro fácil. Um, ninguna. No apoya <laughs> ninguna. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Eh, entonces la otra que sería hey Jorge Hello. ¿cómo Hello. estamos? bien, ¿qué onda? estamos en secuencia ahí Oye, ¿cuál sigue? Eh, how often do you do you go do you go to the beach beach algo así uh, yo soy Usually, one, usually, usually, ¿Con qué este, frecuencia vas a la playa? Te uh -huh. Sí, o sea, estoy, estoy intentando contestar. Usually, eh, one, no sé cómo decir, una vez al año. <ríe> no sé cómo se dice. Once a year. ¿Cómo? Once a year. Ah, once, once a year. Uh, one Usually time. one a year. Ah, okay. Yeah. Gracias. All right. Uh -huh, continue. Eh, no sé quién va a preguntar ahí. Eh, yo pregunto. Yo pregunto. Okay. Uh, ¿Tú eres Vladimir? Vale, Vladimir. Uh -huh. What time do you go to bed? Eh, Creo que es en qué momento, en qué tiempo tú vas a la cama a dormir, me imagino. Ah, Eso. Sí. <risa> sería después de la clase de inglés, sería como fue. After class. ¿Cómo? After class. After class. Mm -hmm. I, after class. No, I go to bed after class. I go to bed after class. I go to bed after class, ok. okay. Eh, when do you study English? Um, English. Um, I go study in um, um, night. Uh -huh, night. At night. ¿Cuándo estudias inglés? 
I at night. I, I, I study. To, uh, I do study at night. I. Y para ser nueve. Nine. 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 Nine p.m. Nine p.m. Yeah. PM, ¿cómo se dice, teacher? PM. 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 Or you can say, for example, from Monday. Se nos manda el chat. To Thursday. ¿Y en qué momento se utiliza aquella frase que le enseñaron uno que decía at o'clock? Ah, bueno, at nine o'clock. Exacto, cuando es exacto, ¿no? Uh -huh. At nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. okay. Nine o'clock. Yes, or you can say I study English from Monday to Thursday. Like that. All right. And there's one more question, right? Hay otra pregunta, no? What time do you go to bed? All right, let's go back. Okay, we finished, right? Do you have questions? Preguntas? No? ¿Qué, qué tal la estructura? Les está costando un poco de las preguntas. Sí, como les decía. Más o menos. Más o menos. Solo... Mucho. <risa> Como les decía, el próximo módulo y los demás lo van a seguir practicando porque es bastante información y bastantes temas, pero si se memorizan la estructura, debería ser un poco más fácil después. Pero sí, el otro módulo van a volver a practicar un poco con estos temas. ¿Okay? Mañana sí. tenemos todo el contenido de la plataforma y ya el jueves solo nos queda hacer el, el examen sí. final. Uh -huh. Y ya habremos terminado. Okay. Preguntas? No question. Okay. I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> good night. Okay. Good, good night. night. Good night. Bye bye. Bye. bye.